So this problem asks us to multiply matrices A and B in two different ways. And so basically what we want to do is see if A times B is equal to B times A. So does the order that we multiply matrices matter or can we change it? Is this going to be equal to this? And so what we're going to do first is make sure that we can actually multiply these two matrices together. So if we have a 2 by 2 matrix times a 2 by 2 matrix. So we look at the inside numbers here, and since those are both 2, since they match, we know we can multiply them together. Now we need to look at the size that our resulting matrix is going to be, and so we look at the outside values, and since those are both 2s, we're going to end up with a 2 by 2 matrix. And since A and B are both 2 by 2, it's going to be the same for both. So we're going to have a 2 by 2 and a 2 by 2, regardless of the order that we multiply. So now we're going to look at the actual multiplication here. So to find our entry and our end matrix in row one, column one, we're going to take row one of our first matrix times column one of our first matrix. And when we're doing that, we're going to take the first entry in our row times the first entry in our column, plus the second entry in our row times the second entry in our column. And if there were more um, entries in each of these rows and columns, then we would add all of those together. But since there's only two, we're only going to have to worry about that. So we're just going to do normal multiplication between those elements. So we have negative 1 times 3 is negative 3 plus 1 times 1 is 1. And now to get the entry in row 1, column 2, we're going to take row 1 times column 2 and just do our multiplication the same way. So negative 1 and 0 is 0 and 1 times negative 4 is negative 4. Next, we look at the entry in row 2, column 1. So we're going to take row 2 times column 1. So that's 0 times 3 is 0, plus 2 times 1 is 2. And finally, in row 2, column 2, we take row 2 times column 2. 0 times 0 is 0, plus 2 times negative 4 is negative 8. And now, we're just going to add the individual entries together. So sometimes I like to draw a little box here to remind me which entries go together. So what are we adding together actually? And so this is going to give us negative 3 plus 1 is negative 2. 0 plus negative 4 is negative 4. 0 plus 2 is 2. And 0 plus negative 8 is negative 8. And we'll just remind ourselves that this is A times B. Now we're going to do the same thing with B first and then A. So we're going to multiply the rows of B times the columns of A instead of the rows of A and the columns of B. So 3 times negative 1 is negative 3 plus 0 times 0 is 0. Then we're going to go to row 1, column 2. So row 1 times column 2. 3 times 1 is 3 plus 0 times 2 is 0. Then we go to row 2, column 1. So row 2 times column 1 is 1 times negative 1, which is negative 1, plus negative 4 times 0 is 0. And then row 2, column 2, we take 1 times 1 is 1, plus negative 4 times 2 is negative 8. And again, we're just going to add these together, which gives us negative 3, 3, negative 1, and negative 7. So this equals B times A. So what we see here then is that the order we multiply our matrices in does matter. So this is a bit of a departure from where, what we're used to with just numbers, where the order we multiply them does not matter. But here, as you can see, A times B is different from B times A, which means we have to be really careful when we're multiplying matrices that we have the correct matrix first and the correct matrix second.